and welcome to it. I'm Julia. If you've never met me before, I do lots of Apple unboxings all the time, so make sure you go check those out and subscribe to my channel because I will definitely be doing more. Today, I have finally gotten an iMac and I am so excited. I've never had one. I've wanted one forever, but I didn't know which one to get and I kind of wanted to wait for a newer one to come out and I'm so happy. <laughs> so today, we are unboxing the new 24-inch iMac. They released these new iMacs in multiple different colors and I got it in the pink slash red color. Quick, if you got to choose any of the colors of the new iMac, which one would you choose? Comment below. This new iMac does have the new M1 chip, which I love. I have a MacBook Air with the M1 chip and it's so fast, I love it. The price of these start at about $1,299. Definitely an investment, but I think it'll be worth it for me. Towards the end of this video, I will do kind of like a little review a couple days after of using it to tell you how I like it and some fun things I've learned about it. So make sure you stick around for that. But let's go ahead and get right on into unboxing this. Okay, so we're just gonna lift this thing up. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's little arrows point. Oh my gosh. This box is so high tech. So you like push out these little things and it opens it up. Oh my goodness, it's so thin. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm so excited. We're gonna set this beauty off to the side while we unpack what's in the box. Wow, this box is like blowing my mind right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, this is just so annoying. <laughs> now we have the wire. Oh my gosh, this is huge. That plugs it in to the wall. Here are my stickers. It's a nice big red apple sticker. Kind of was hoping it'd be pink, but that's okay. Still a color that I don't have. <laughs> Oh wait, there's a pink one right here. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. This is so cute. This is awesome. I'm so excited. If you can't tell, my favorite color is pink. Another wire also. And then, oh my goodness, the keyboard. A USB-C to lightning cable. We will unpackage all this once I get it out of the box first. I'm just trying to get this big box out of the way. Then we have a beautiful light pink trackpad. Oh my gosh. I think this is the mouse. This box is a little confusing. I'm gonna cut this open just to see if there's anything in here. Tell. I don't think so. Oh, it's literally a piece of cardboard. <laughs> you know, the box has a little handle that you can like carry it with easily. Okay, now for all of the fun parts and the most satisfying where we get to take all the wrapping off. Cool. Everything down to like the cables and wires are colored. I love it. Also, while we are unwrapping things, I just wanted to say that I am so grateful for all of you guys who watch my videos like these ones. Your guys' support allows me to keep going with all of this and providing content of reviewing Apple products from kind of like a normal person standpoint. So if it weren't for you guys watching my videos, I wouldn't be here and I would not have this iMac. So seriously, thank you guys so much. I am so grateful. Why are these so fun to do? Like, honestly, I could just sit here and unwrap wires and stuff all day because it's so satisfying. <laughs> we have the magic mouse and I'm so excited. It's pink. I am going to cry. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Take a shot every time you hear me say, oh my gosh. <laughs> A very nice trackpad with like the pink lining around it, but the top of it is white. It's all looking very cohesive together. Then it has the keyboard. Wow. This keyboard is so nice. It's like, oh, it even has touch ID. Beautiful. Wow, I'm so excited. Feeling so blessed right now. Okay, time to open this thing up and get it running. Some cloth tabs. It all came very well protected. So first we have this layer of cloth and then we have a layer of like everything else, you know? Oh. So it says, hello. Hi, my new best friend. So there's some film wrapping around it. 
Um, there's a couple different like pull tabs, so we're just gonna start with a random one. Wow, it's going all the way around. Are you trying to do this one-handed? <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. All right. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. a little piece down here. Fun. Wow. Ah, oh, I already got a fingerprint on the screen. Okay, let's plug this baby in and get it running because we're also going to be customizing it today too. Okay, I'm gonna need your help here. So I've never had an iMac. Is this supposed to go through this hole or is this supposed to like go like under it, like behind it? I don't know. I feel like, okay, yeah, it's, I think it's supposed to go through here. I don't know, please tell me in the comments. Hello. Pair my keyboard, okay. I feel like the instructions are always very good for Apple. So I, I didn't really know how you're supposed to scroll on like the Apple mouse because there's no like little dial, but you literally just do it. It's really cool. <laughs> Where you have to set up your computer account, so. And I'm not the biggest fan of the red on the back, but I figured this Mac is going to be facing against the wall majority of the time, so you're not really gonna see the red. All you're gonna see is the pretty light pink. <laughs> I'm not gonna turn on S-I-R-I -I on my Mac because I feel like there's no real point to that. Okay, the camera on this is so good. Oh, uh, we're gonna go light. Are you light mode or dark mode type of person? Comment below. I'm curious. <gasps> this is beautiful. I like don't even want to change the screensaver. It's so cute. It like goes so well with the pink. Time to customize. <laughs> okay, let's do a little screen recording while we customize this thing. I'm so excited, but I don't even know where to start. Okay, we're just gonna be testing some things out. First, I wanted to go to the photo booth and see how well the camera was because it looked pretty good to me. Wow. Mm. First thing we're going to do is go to Safari and download Google Chrome. So now I have my Google Chrome. That's exciting. Don't have to mess with that anymore. Next, I want to make a wallpaper, but we're going to go to Canva to do that. So we're going to make a little desktop really quick. I will just um, time lapse this really quick so you guys can see it. <laughs> So I'm going to mess around with it for the next couple of days, find out all the cool tips and tricks, and then I will come back to you with that now. <laughs> hey, so it's about a week later, and I just wanted to sit down and tell you guys about a couple of the cool things that I found out about this iMac. First off, I am recording on the photo booth video because the camera in this iMac has 1080p, which is literally awesome. And I thought a kind of a little fun thing was that this iMac was kind of built centered around the idea of the pandemic and trying to make the best camera, the best speaker, the best microphone, so that whenever you're video calling or zooming, you have the best quality for all that, including good streaming too. So that being said, there's a new microphone, new speakers. I believe on the website it said that there are six speakers on this iMac. <laughs> Another completely random thing that I found out is that people are using this iMac in different areas of their home. So some people are putting it in their kitchen and using it as like a main computer for everybody. You can also have different profiles on it and have different touch IDs for every single profile, which is nice. Um, but anyways, after using it for a week, 
I am so in love with this device. Editing on it has been amazing. It is literally a boss at editing. I've edited all my videos on it because I just love this. I just love the screen is so big and I can see everything. It's also just like literally so fast. <laughs> Another thing that I've been loving to do is just set it up in my room and watch Netflix because it's basically like a TV. If I'm streaming Netflix, I can use it as a TV in my room. I've already taken a couple Zoom calls on it and it's been phenomenal. Overall, I'm just so obsessed with this and I'm so excited to see how it carries on into the school year and how this is going to help me with my schoolwork. I also wanted to let you guys know that I will be doing a What's on my iMac video, hopefully coming on May 26th at 12 p.m. Eastern time because this is my posting schedule, so it'll be coming on the Wednesday, hopefully, but I'll let you guys know if that gets messed around, but it should be coming then. So make sure you subscribe to come back for that. Other than that, if you have any questions, please leave them below and I will try to help my best to help you out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.